Rampage against the Machine. As we get the show going for a Monday night, it's Hard Drive XL. I'm Lou Brutus. Now, every night this week, Sully Erna from Godsmack is going to be my guest. That means he is my featured artist. My other guests include Rick DeJesus from Adelita's Way tonight, Incubus tomorrow night, Gavin Rossdale of... I don't know if you hear that train in the background, but we live right by railroad tracks. I go from Grand Rapids to Chicago. So, I mean, yeah, we get a lot of trains through here now and then. So, yeah. Right now, it's, uh, it's pretty rainy out. Um, it's almost nine, so I mean, it's starting to get dark doesn't look like that in the camera but that's that's how it is that train's coming pretty soon street lights are already on here comes that train trains headed to Chicago I'm pretty sure
All right. Well, the rain's picked up a bunch now. Um, that train was a little smaller than I thought, but you know, most trains that go on those railroad tracks aren't uh, really that big. There is an Amtrak train that uh, that that rides on those railroad tracks like every morning and every night, like throughout the week. I'd imagine, you know. A lot of people take that to go to work because, you know, I mean, like like I said, those railroad tracks go from Grand Rapids to Chicago. So, I mean, I'm, I'd am i imagine there are some people in Grand Rapids that take that train to get to a job in Chicago, which, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of that that goes on. I know, uh, I know somebody that uh, lives right by St. Louis, Missouri, and... His dad has to take a chain, little a train to Chicago. So, yeah. Another th another thing about those railroad tracks is, uh, before I get back to focusing on the storm, um, late recently there was uh, like a a car hit by a train on those railroad tracks. It it was all the way in Michigan City, Indiana, I believe. It uh, it made the news all over Michigan, and uh, there was a news sta news station in uh, South Bend, Indiana, that talked about it too. So I mean, yeah, there's there's a quite a few accidents that happen that happen on those railroad tracks, mainly because you know people don't pay attention, and that goes on like crazy, you know. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the storm now. Doesn't look like this rain is going to let off pretty soon. Kind of sucks that there's no thunder and lightning right now. Alright, as you guys can tell, I'm a bit soaked, so I mean... Uh, yeah, it's uh... It's gonna rain for a while. Um, I'll I'll continue recording if it does uh, get worse. But um, right now, I think I'm gonna put this to an end. The areas I was recording, like uh, when it came to storms, in this video was Reedsville, which is usually where I I record, and then. Uh, I, uh, when we were driving, we were coming from Niles and, you know, passed through Dwajik, so I mean, yeah, it, uh, sorry, there's a guy that just drove by, but, um, yeah, we, uh, I was doing a house in Niles, so I mean, yeah, we, we worked on a roof, we, and an attic, it's a pain in the ass, but you know, we, we got it done and over with, but um, 
yeah, you know, I was I was happy that I finally got to record while I was moving around. I don't get it's not very often that I do that. So I mean, yeah, it's um yeah. But uh anyway, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. I know I've said that like three times already, but uh yeah, you know. Hope y'all had a great night and a great week. Now be safe.